Hi, my name is Saran Kumar. Welcome to my channel, The Excelism. Friends, this video is the part of the series of videos on how to deal with two-dimensional data. This is the method one through which we are going to solve the intersection value in the two-dimensional data. In this formula, I'm going to use index and match combination. Of course, with the supporting column and supporting row. Before going into this, let us first try to understand how to work with index function and how to work with match function. Index function equal to index. It's having three arguments. First argument is array. Second argument is row number. Third argument is column number. So what index function is asking three parameters. Sharon, you give us the area in which I need to look. And also please provide what is the row number. Also please provide what is the column number. So these three parameters I should have first. Let us check it out. Out of these three parameters, how many are available? So the first parameter is the array. The second parameter is the row number. The third parameter is the column number. First parameter is array. Array is nothing but the area in which the index function has to look. This is the area. Friends, for easy understanding, instead of writing for C5 colon G9, I am giving a name for this that we call it as a defined name. I am going into the name box here. Let me type for this as rate. Now, if you go into the formulas tab and name manager, this rate is referred to C5 colon G9. So, a array is nothing but rate. In this area, what is the row number? 125 is falling into third row. So, let me give three. What is the column number? 295 is falling into this column. That is nothing but the fourth column in this area. Simple. Now let me go here and put index. First argument is array. That's nothing but either you can type rate or you can select the area. It automatically identifies the defined name. Comma. Comma is a delimiter between two arguments. Row number. This row number is 3. Comma. Column number. Column number is 4. Let me close it. Now let me interpret this. Look into this area for this row number, for this column number and give me the intersection value. If I enter exactly the third row, fourth column value, 16.20, you'll get the answer. Right? This is 16.2. This is also 16.2. Let me put two decimals for this. Now, if I go on and change this, let's say 25. If I go on and change this, maybe 595. Do you think it's changing here? No. Why? Because row number, column number, both are constants. Based on these two, this row number and column number has to change. Since these two are not changing, the values in the formula also refer to this. These values are not changing. So in this case, these two are creating the problem. So instead of these two, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make dynamic by using a function called match. So what I'll be doing now, I'm taking here a function called match equal to match. Match function is having three arguments. First argument is lookup value. That means let's take here first argument of the match function is lookup value. That means what value you are looking for. Second argument is lookup array. That means in which area you are looking for. Third argument is range lookup. Whether you are looking for an exact match or approximate match. Now let me write the match function. Leave it as of now. Let me remove this. Now equal to match. What is the first argument? Lookup value. What value you are looking for? I am going to look for this value, comma, where you are looking, I want to look into this column. Is it correct? Yes, comma. Are you looking for an exact match or approximate match? In this case, let me put 
exact match for the time being, you will get not available. Do you know the reason why? Because I am looking for 25 in this range. I am looking for a number, but I am looking into a text. It's not possible. Obviously, this value is not there here, so you will get a not available error. That means I need to have one more column which should have the numbers instead of the text. Let me take the supporting column here. I am inserting one more column. Control plus plus is the shortcut. So I want to have the same format. So let me just go to the home tab, take this format printer. Let me just click here. And in the same way, here also let me take one more supporting row because the same problem may come here. Now this is the same format I want above. Take this format painter, then keep the cursor here. Now let me take 1, 51, 101, 201, 501. I'm sorry, 501. Right? Here also let me take 1, 51. 101, 201, 501. So what I just now did, I have inserted one column as a supporting column. I inserted one more row as a supporting row. So my match function, instead of looking into this column, now I'll shift my lookup array into this. Either you can just hold the edges, you can move it, Otherwise, you can just go here. You can just change this. Instead of C6 colon C10, you can make it B6 colon B10. Right? So, for easy understanding, let me select this. Let me give the defined name for this as KMS kilometers. Let me select this area. Let me give the defined name as QTY. The meaning is quantity. If you want to check it out, whether all defined names are there, Go to the formulas tab, you'll find all the predefined names. Let me close this. Now let me rewrite the match function equal to match. What is the first argument? What value I am looking for? Comma. What is the second argument? Where I want to look for in this? Comma. The third argument having three options. Whether you want to look into the less than exact match or greater than. In this case, let's say if I use exact match, zero, what will happen? It will look for 25 exactly into this column. Since this 25 is not available, I'll get an answer, an error, right? So in this case, I should not take zero as an exact match. I should take one because I need to look downside. So what Excel, does if I take 1, Excel take this value 25, it will look for the downside. Downside, what is the nearest value for the 25? 1. So it will take the 1 position. Out of this entire area, my position of 1 is first position. So my answer is 1. Let me change here as 58. Let me enter. So 58, nearest downside is 51. So my answer is 2. Let me take this as 695. What is the nearest downside 695? It is 501. So out of this entire array, fifth position is 501. So my answer is 5. Let me do the same for the column number. Match. What is the lookup value? I need to look into look for this, comma. Where you have to look? I need to look into this row, comma. I need to look downside. E, again, if you put an exact match here, since 595 is not available in this area, you will get a not available error. So let me take downside 1, enter. So my row number is 5, column number is 5. Now let me rewrite the index function. Index, take the rate, rate is nothing but this area, comma, take the row number, comma, take the column number, close bracket. Now, fifth row, fifth column, 15.95 is my answer. Now friends, if I take 35, so if I enter, I had to enter, this is 
enter mode. So if I enter, now 35 is into the first row. So if I look for 35 nearest downside value, it is 1. So the row number is 1. The position is 1. So I got exactly the correct answer, 16.95. Let's say if I take, this is also 35, enter. So this is position 1, this is position 1, 35, 35, first row, first column, this is the intersection. Let's say if I take this one as 255, enter, 255 is in this area, 35 is in this area. So it has exactly taken fourth row and first column, the intersection value is 15.2. Now what I'll be doing, I will take, instead of taking a supporting cells, I'll write the entire formula here. Now let me rewrite the entire formula here. Equal to index, rate is the first argument. What is the row number? Do you have a direct answer? No. Now let me take match function. What is the, if you observe in the syntax, lookup value is in bold. If something is in bold, that means Excel is prompting you to enter that. Lookup value is nothing but this, comma. Where I need to look, I need to look into this column for which I have given a name as a KMS, comma. Am I need to look exact match? No. I need to look downside that is less than, so keep one, comma. Now column number, do you have a direct answer? No. I need to use again match function. Yes. Lookup value. Now I need to look for this value, comma. What is the lookup array? That is nothing but this, for which I have given a defined name that's a quantity, comma. Now it's highlighting match type. So I need to look downside, give one. Friends, if you observe, your syntax is below the match function means it is giving you a clue that Sharon you had to close the match function. So let me close the match function. Once immediately I keep the close parenthesis, it is jumping the syntax below index function and also highlighting the third argument of the index function. It is giving me one more clue that Sharon you had to enter the index function third argument. Sorry, you had to complete the index function third argument. Now let me close this. Your syntax is over. When you are not finding the syntax, that means you closed all the nesteds properly. If I enter, I should get the correct answer. Absolutely. Right? So this is the method one. Let me have a very quick recap of method one. Friends, what I have taken? I have taken the index function in which we have three arguments. First argument is the array readily available. So I kept in the green color for better understanding. So it's a rate defined name. Second argument is the row number. Is it readily available? No. So instead of the second argument, let me use some other function which can give the position number. That is the match function. So in the match function, how many arguments are there? Three arguments are there. Do you think all the three arguments are readily available? Yes. What is the first argument? Lookup value. So my lookup value is the kilometers. That, is, that input is there in the C12 cell. Now, second argument is lookup array. I need to look for this kilometers into this lookup array KMS. This is the defined name I have taken for the supporting column. Match type is, I should not keep zero here. This must be one because I am looking downside. So my second argument is done because I have used a match function. Now let me look into the first argument, third argument. It's a column number. Is it readily available? No. Means instead of third argument, I should take some other function that must give me the position of the column. So for which I am using a match function. Again, it's having three arguments. Lookup value, lookup array and match type. Lookup value, C13th cell in which I have an input of the quantity. Lookup array is the supporting row which I inserted for which I have given a name as a QTY. Match type, I should take one because I am looking downside. Now if I combine all these three into a formula, just check it out. Equal to index, first argument readily available, rate, second argument is the row number. Is it readily available? No. Let's take the match function. Lookup value is C12. So let me take C12, comma. Lookup array is KMS. So take KMS, comma. 
I need to look downside one close bracket comma that means I need to write now this one third argument column number is it readily available no let me take the match function again so in this first argument is c13 comma second argument is I need to look into the qty defined name range now I need to look downside close the second match function close the index function this is you will get exactly the correct answer so let me increase my decimals yeah show you let me show you the entire formula we have a function called formula text if I select this this is what the final formula I have taken that's all for this video method 2 I'll cover in the next video thank you for watching